$300,000. For fake book? How much is the original book? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony A. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, you're welcome. Here I talk about do it yourself, finances, lifestyle, and other things. So today I'm going to be doing a mini vlog, mini day in my life kind of video. I do not stay in Lagos, but I went to Lagos for one for something and I decided to go to the market and I was pleasantly surprised. And I decided to make a video and you know tell you guys about what I saw. So um the market I visited was the Teju Osho market. I think that's how it's pronounced. I hope that's how it's pronounced. So I just did some, you know, basic research online about it. Google, just Google Tejo Show Market. So it says Tejo Show Market is an ultra modern market loc located along the Ojue Legba Itiwe Road in Yaba, Lagos, Lagos State, Nigeria. Yes, it was actually on the mainland. It's divided into two phases phase one and phase two. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, eight lifts. Two escalators. I didn't see that too. There were stairs, sha. Yes, but I'm not saying there are no idea. All these things are not available. I'm just saying I did not see it. So, but there are 600 parking lots. Yes, it's actually true. It's actually true. I saw the parking lot. And basic facilities like stable electricity and water supply, mm, equipped with two fire stations, two ramps to assist the physically challenged, and a crash. Hmm. Well, I didn't really go around the whole market. Well, all I actually saw, and I'm telling you that is there. Yes, they do have the rams to assist the physically challenged. Yes, I actually did see that. So basically, you know, you can just read up on it. So I'm just going to tell you about my day. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know, I usually dis Lagos, especially because of traffic. So if you're going to the Tejo Show Market, and you're expecting the road to be clear like this, well you're in for a bit of a surprise because you're most likely going to encounter some kind of traffic but just try to check google map try to run against traffic don't go to the market when people are going to work or when people are returning from work there are other times that are not really so um busy you can go then and then you can always things that you can do to keep yourself busy you can you always you know read a book an audio book you can gist to your friends if you're not going alone. You can listen to music, catch up on your reading. There are a lot of things you can do in traffic, except you're driving. If you're driving well, music and audiobook. That's all I've got for you. Now, the first thing that impressed me was the parking lot. One, you there's um, actually four story buildings, four stories. And then there's like the basement is a parking lot. It was really pretty. And yeah, we had to pay. I think it was 300 naira per car that was parked. And um, it was a bit of a cultural shock for me because, yes, I live in Nigeria, but I've never really paid to park anywhere. Just park on the road now, you know, by the side. But <laughs> yes, but it wasn't so much. 300 naira is a minimal amount. It's fine. Then, um, yeah, before you get into the market, you may see some people, they're called that way. just just, um, you know, just some rough looking guys. They were trying to tell us that, no, 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 no. There's no space inside. There's no road there. Come out, park with us. I think that is a bit more expensive. Don't listen to those people. The market, if the market is open, the parking lot can house over 600 cars. There's most likely going to be space for you. Another thing you have to know is your car lot number. I'm telling you, this thing sounds, sounds like a no-brainer. But it wasn't when we parked, we didn't look at the car lot number. So it was time to carry our produce, our things we had bought to the car. We kept moving up and down, moving up and down, moving up and down, moving up and down. So usually it's best to, they are numbered from 1 to I think 600. I don't know. So our car lot number I think was 23. So you just follow it. You see where the, um, you see how the numbers keep going. Now, another thing you have to know about this market is that you have to haggle. These books. Okay, 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 okay. It's as if it's book. It's not really book, I mean. Yeah. It's just for the question how much. Maybe I can afford this one. Three three thousand last price. For fake book. How much is the original book? I said this one. This one four thousand. Because it's Versace. See, I think a lot of people come from all over Nigeria to buy. From that market in bulk. So when you're buying in piece meals, the prices they give you are exorbitant. So most times you have to haggle. Don't be afraid. If they pay ten thousand there, start from four thousand. You're most likely going to end at five thousand five hundred or something. Haggle your way out. 
Yeah, another thing you have to know is that um the network there is not so good. I think it's because of this, um the the walls and all. So if you want to pay with your card or POS, you may have to go to a side that faces the road. And the alternative is that you can carry cash. I'm not telling you to carry cash to the market because you know if they steal it, <laughs> don't say it's even that's said true. But just get your mind prepared. So and then you should go with the best. Go with your best card. Don't this one may get declined or something then yeah just like every other market when you're going see, that's not the time to wear heels and moves and all the no 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 wear very comfortable clothes uh, you wear flash shoes just be very comfortable because it's a long walk you're gonna walk around and all now let's go to items i wanted let's go to items i wanted i actually went there i wanted to get um things for my background i wanted a flower i don't know if you can see this really pretty flower <laughs> yeah i got it from there then i wanted a vase i wanted a basket i wanted um what i want again safe i wanted to get hangers because yeah i think i have so many clothes now they are my hangers are inadequate and all so things i actually got so let's just do like a mini haul of the things i got so the first thing i got is this it's going to be this basket um let me see if i can stand up so you can get a better view well this is the best i can do yeah it's this basket funny how growing up as a child we had this basket at home and somehow all moved my mom threw it away and after i was in school i called mom wins our basket and she said i threw it away so i've been looking for this ever since i always get small ones but i really like the you know northern vibes it's hand made with raffia i also got this baby one I actually got two of this i just put my jewelry in it and all like jewelry i'm going to use like soon and all i also got um this flower let me bring it here <clears throat> i also got this flower yeah this is it it i had already seen some but it looked too fake i know it's fake plants but it should not look too fake like ugu or spinach you know one of those leafy vegetables so i think this is just the right color then i got this raffia vase strip basket i don't know if you can see let me stand up it's really pretty i've been seeing it all over and i got it and i like it so those are the things i got i also wanted to get my my um some other things i wanted to get but i really did not i wanted to get my hangers but i didn't see the particular color shape and size i wanted but basically it was a good day yeah i strongly recommend Go to that market is well organized the stores are well compartment and live <laughs>
Algum feio. Algum feio.